Hey girl, what's up? You see, it's the Enchantress. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So in today's video, I think you already know what I'm doing. I'm doing another hair and stuff. I'm trying to get this red right again, okay? So today I have icy hair. Icy hair, icy. And it's a secret beauty. And the back just has this stuff on it like it just tells you everything they have and like all of their contact information as far as like whatsapp facebook instagram and aliexpress like the customer service but i'm really excited for this hair because it's 24 inches it's straight and it's malaysian so i will dye this here today um i'm gonna take it out and show y'all in a minute but first i'm gonna show y'all everything that come in a box because usually what i do um, it's some 3D mink hair eyelashes with a brand on it, and it says it's from AliExpress. And then they have the wig cap. And also, what came in the box was the care card. This is I see you, and then it tells you how you can get money back um, from leaving reviews and pictures on their website. So this is the hair out of the packaging and it is so silky, y'all. Like when I pulled it out of the net, it just fell out of the net like so silky. It has two combs on the side, a comb in the back, and then a comb in the middle. And it already looks a little pre-plugged, but you know we gonna go through and pluck it and add some baby hairs on here. It's not no baby hairs already added though, but I'm gonna show y'all like look at this. Malaysian hair. I don't think I've ever um, had Malaysian straight hair. I think I've had like, Malaysian curly hair before. And on the packaging, it says it's 180% density and it's a 13 by 6 wig, which is really good because 6 inches going back, that's a lot of parting space. So I'm going to show y'all everything I'm going to dye the hair and I'm going to show y'all the process of me dyeing the hair once again. So give me one second. Okay, so everything that I have is the I got three packs because the hair is so long and then I got a door and intense red I know I keep changing like the dye that I'm using I'm trying to get the same color but this is like a darker red which I mean that's what I wanted a darker red anyway so yeah and I also got 20 volume developer because I've been using 40 volume and that fried my hair the last time like my frontal that I dyed so yeah I'm not going to use that so yeah I'm going to do the bleach bath and then I'm going to watercolor it this color and I'm going to show y'all that process so I will be back when I'm showing y'all that and then I'm going to go get it installed today so bye okay y'all already know the deal and what's going on she done put the wig cap on and sprayed the got to be glue on there and i am using the handheld blow dryer to dry the glue on the cap and then after that she put the glue on the cap and then she put the wig on my head and this is how it came out she did the bust down middle part and it was really late okay y'all so this is how the install came out uh, I just woke up from a nap, so I just had the bonnet on my head, and I had tied this scarf around my edges, just to keep my edges down, but that's what the install looked like. Um, when I wash my face in the morning, like my sideburns be out, so they be getting wet, but I'll just um put some alcohol-free foam like some alcohol free foam and wrap on my edges and you know fix them and then I'll spray them with some got to be glue spray and then I'll tie them down so they can dry but as for this hair y'all I really I'm loving this hair um you can definitely feel like this is Malaysian hair and I'm sorry if y'all hear my neighbor's fan in the background like that that buzzing noise i'm sorry but yeah um it's really not tangling like if the hair tangles it's very very easy for it to untangle like when i say this i want to go ahead and be like i already want to tell y'all like when i say heavy it's not like weighing down on your head but like it's heavy like the density like i guess it's the density that's what's making it heavy um 
again not heavy on your hair because the hair is very very lightweight like the hair is very very lightweight but when i say heavy i mean um i wanted to use flexi rods on my hair and roll my hair up last night but the hair was too heavy that it kept falling like it kept just falling like gracefully like if i do it like this it'll just gracefully like you know just unravel like the hair is really like i want to say wavy because it's not wavy hair but like it's it has a lot of like lusciousness and body like it really moves and it's super shiny so actually since like i took a nap and stuff and like y'all see it's not straight like i got those dents in it right there i have my flat iron um i got it set all the way up to as high as it can go i should have got a comb but i'm gonna use this brush because i mean it's not even bad but i'm gonna take it and flat iron the hair and did the color color come out like pretty pretty good like, the color came out really cute um I'm gonna show y'all how long the hair is too. Okay, but y'all see like, yeah, it's super, it's super easy to manage. Like this hair is really beautiful. I can't um stress it enough. I really would recommend this hair, like seriously. But some people don't like um Malaysian hair or like Peruvian hair or different hair like that. They don't be liking the texture of it or like mink hair or raw hair they don't be liking the texture of it i love a texture like this because like it's silky it's silky i'll use the small chi silk infusions bottle like with the red cap but i left it in my brother's car this morning because i had to go to the chiropractor so i left it in his car i usually put a little bit on there but well yeah before i straighten the hair but i already put some on today and you definitely don't want to um you know put too much of that product on your hair so yeah i want to um i want to straighten the rest of the hair before i show y'all like the length like how long it is because me straightening the hair is not gonna take long it was really just the front that had the dents on it but yeah deja did a really good job with this install and i'm really enjoying this color like yeah y'all ain't caught on i really love red like red hair on me and this is like the darkest um red that i've had and i really like this so yeah all right now i'm just gonna show y'all how long the hair is on me and show y'all the ends because we didn't cut them in layers this time we actually just left the um the hair like as natural as far as the bottom and the length goes so that's how long it is okay and now y'all see like y'all see like how easy this hair flips like and it's super like it's super luscious like i can't get over there i can't get over how beautiful this hair is and how silky it feels and how good it feels in my hand so yeah that is my initial review on this hair and it took the color really well obviously oh and i have to tell y'all how i dyed this hair because i actually was trying to hurry up and didn't get it on camera but i know i told y'all the steps beforehand but i'm gonna tell y'all exactly what i did so i mixed three packs of the bw2 powder 20 volume developer and like two squirts of 40 volume developer and i mixed them all together and then um yeah i mixed all that together until i got the basic you know bleach paste then i added water to my bucket i probably added like six maybe eight i added like eight cups of water to it and i mixed the water into it then i dipped my wig in it and i only let my wig process for like 15 to 20 minutes like I said then I took it out and I rinsed it out with a purple shimmer light shampoo and um then I made okay well I don't know where the bottle is but I know I inserted it in like the first 
few minutes of the video so that's the red that I use I only use that red and then I did the oh I sprayed my lace before I like watercolored it I sprayed my lace with the got to be blue trying to um protect my lace so it wouldn't get stained however I did um stain my lace because I didn't wait for my wig to dry well my lace to dry before I sprayed the got to be blue on it then I did my wig in there a few times because I was trying to hurry up I did my wig in there a few times like it wasn't even in the water for three minutes I did the in there I rinsed it out of my bathtub like trying to get all the dye out and um I put it in a bag I put the silicone mix deep conditioner like condition on it and I put it in a bag I put that bag in a bag and I put that bag in a bag so I like it was three bags deep and then I put that bag in my duffel bag because I had to go to the chiropractor and I took that bag with me because yeah I went to my hairstylist right after the chiropractor and we installed my hair and played in makeup so, yeah, y'all, I'm really enjoying this hair. Like I said, the ends are pretty full. I like that. So, if I have any information about this hair, I will link it down below. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.